If you're running low on GTA 5 cash and need to make some money for the gun running DLC, then make sure you download App Bounty in the description below. It's a free and easy way to get your hands on shark cards by downloading and playing games. Once again, link in the description. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today what we're going to do is something really, really exciting because believe it or not, this Easter egg I have to show you guys today has taken almost four years to find out, but it's absolutely insane. I think you guys are going to love this and we're just going to jump straight into things and I'm going to show you guys exactly what this is about but trust me guys this is going to be insane I can't wait to get into this and if you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode be sure to smash that thumbs up button let's try and smash our goal of 5,000 likes guys I know we can do it you get it every single time so thank you so much and as promised guys we're coming back with another easter egg so I'm going to move my microphone so I don't hit it all the time but I just want to say before we get into things I do apologize for the inconsistent upload I took a week off last week and uh, that's why I haven't been uploading as much on this channel But I'm back guys. You got me for good Let me just quickly show you guys this one specific photo on the screen And I'm pretty sure each and every one of you guys know exactly what this photo is about It's one of the most original photos Rockstar Games have posted about GTA 5 There's one for Franklin. There's one for Trevor. There's one for Michael There's one for every single major character in GTA 5, but the one with specific looking at is Trevor's and the reason behind this is because if you guys take a look just behind Trevor you will notice that there is something kind of fishy kind of suspicious something which looks a little bit off and it's that one white cloud shooting directly down just below Mount Chiliad and judging from the trajectory this line is pointing at it's something falling from the sky it's something going down just below Mount Chiliad something crash landing and what are you doing Amanda Amanda's just walked off and now she's standing at the corner. What, what, what are you doing? Are you okay? I'm doing great. Why, why are you here, Amanda? Why are you just waiting on the corner of the, okay, I'm gonna leave you to it, Amanda. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm gonna go back to my car and I'm gonna continue with this Easter egg. Okay, so I'm gonna get in my car. We're just gonna drive along and I'm gonna explain to you guys some interesting stuff. So the reason why we know this is crash landing is because if you guys take a look at any of the airports around Los Santos, you will see that the nearest one is actually Grapeseed. And if it was coming from Grapeseed, it would be going straight across. It wouldn't be going up into the skies if there's an airport behind Mount Chilia. That's one way to confirm that this is not a plane taking off into the sky. And another thing to confirm is that there physically isn't anywhere that plane could have taken off from behind Mount Chiliad in order for it to shoot off into the sky, which means it has to be something crashing down from the sky in GTA 5. And before I go any further, I just want to show you guys a few little hidden Easter eggs in the GTA 5 map, which Rockstar Games have teased us as well, to show that exactly what I'm going to tell you guys in this video is something which we should have all expected and anticipated, because it's so common for Rockstar Games to do stuff like this in GTA 5 and just oh my gosh guys I can't wait to show you exactly what this is so this is gonna all make sense very very soon I do promise you and this entire Easter egg is kind of like a little treasure hunt it's, it's kind of like piecing things together in GTA 5 and the next location I need to go to to talk to you guys about the next part of this is somewhere around here I'm not too sure of the exact waypoint so I'm gonna go over there now I'm just gonna cut myself to it and uh, we'll carry things on from there so I'll see you guys in just a few more seconds. Let's go. I believe this is the location we need to go to. I just realized we had 100% completion and we actually exploded the ranch, but this is the next location you guys want to go to if you want to try and identify where this photo has been taken from, because as you guys can see, it shows Trevor holding the lighter, which shows he's just about to take out the entire ranch. What we're going to do is just stand here, and if you guys take a look at Mount Chiliad and just imagine that plane crashing down below Mount Chiliad, imagine exactly where that plane would land guys and this is what I want you guys to imagine and I think this is gonna give it away so if you guys get the hang of this and if you know exactly what I'm gonna show you guys next let me know in the comments section below but I'm amazed this has taken so long to figure out but once you guys know the answer it is just gonna make so much sense wait what just wait what 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 okay <laughs> 
How did that just explode? This is what I want you guys to imagine. Because we're over at Grapeseed, if we were to look straight on, it would mean the plane would be crashing that way. But because you guys can see the photo, it shows the plane or whatever it is in the sky is crashing down like that, as if it's going behind Mount Chiliad. It's not going that way. It's not going like really far across side to side or anything. It looks like it's going in kind of a north direction, maybe a northeast, just a tiny bit northeast, but it's going in that general direction. I'll let you guys decide in the comments, but if you do take a look at that photo, it's definitely not going like straight over that way. It's not going directly in front of us. It's not going along the horizon or anything else like that. It's going in like that direction, which is a northeast direction. And then if we bring up our map and take a look exactly where that would be, a northeast direction would take the plane or whatever it is crashing over there, which is exactly where the UFO is stored underneath the ocean, which I'm pretty sure every single one of us has found out and discovered in GTA 5. And I think you guys are starting to catch on to exactly what I'm thinking. And to be honest, this is just going to be amazing. So let me show you guys the UFO in the ocean. And let me conclude this and tell you exactly what this Easter egg is about. But how has this taken us three years, almost four years to discover? that? That's the interesting thing because this has taken so long to figure out. But it makes so much sense once you do think about it. And let me go over to the UFO now and let me just show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully these things don't explode on me now. I don't even know how that one exploded, but it somehow did. Maybe this house is, oh wait, this house is haunted. I'm not sure if you have seen, but this house is apparently haunted. You, you can hear noises inside there. So I'm going to go away from that house now and uh, we're going to go and find a helicopter or something. Just to give you some perspective, I decided, you know what? Let's just go to the top of Mount Chiliad and let's draw this out from the top of this mountain. So as you can see, we're right at the top and all you guys need to do is look in this direction and you can see that at the angle this thing was crashing at and it was quite a sharp angle. It has to have definitely reached the ocean. I mean reaching the land would have been a tough one but it would have definitely reached the ocean but it's definitely going sharp enough to maybe get the ocean in line with those islands or something or maybe just going within a parameter or, or just some sort of radius where we can access that crashed plane from the sky. So in my opinion just judging from the trajectory on where this is crash landing and the sharp crash it is taking in the sky it has to have made it somewhere in the ocean around about here or so and this is a perfect location to pin it down to where the UFO is underneath the ocean and because this is one of those skeptical things which I'm sure most of you guys are thinking oh, maybe maybe it could be maybe it won't be I'm gonna prove this to you guys and I'm gonna open up Photoshop to show you exactly where this was crash landing okay so this is the photo we're gonna take a look at and in specifically guys we're gonna take a look at this thing over here this is the map we're gonna take a look at right here and if we just pinpoint on on this Mount Chiliad, the peak of it is somewhere about there. And as I said earlier, guys, because of the angle we're standing at right now, this is going in a north direction. Because right now we're standing very southern east to this crash in the sky. That's where Trevor is taken at the ranch, O'Neill's ranch. You can see it right here. So looking at this, this is definitely something crashing on a north, maybe a very slight northeast direction. So if we take a look at this and just go north or northeast, somewhere around there, and it's going to crash somewhere around around about there. And then if we take a look right in the middle of it, I, am th I think it's right here. That's where the UFO is in the water. So that's what we're taking a look at, guys. And if we just quickly draw a line or something, and then if I just draw that line right there, which you guys can see right now, that's the exact direction the UFO should be falling in. And just to take a look at this one more time, guys, if we take a look once again from the top of the sky, crashing down just below the mountain, if we get up the map, that's exactly where this is falling down. If you guys have any other thoughts about this, let me know in the comments section below. But let's go over to that one location where the UFO is in the water and let me explain exactly why this matters in GTA 5 and the significance of this. Almost at the waypoint, guys. We're almost there. And all we gotta do is find this UFO in the ocean to carry things on. Come on, buddy. Let's get in the ocean. Come on. Come on. Where's the UFO? Where's the UFO? Is that it? I wasn't using any tutorial or anything to try and find this UFO. I got the waypoint on it perfectly. That is awesome. I'm so happy with myself, guys. But there is the UFO in the ocean. And if we take a look at that photo correctly of Trevor holding the lighter in GTA 5, one of the images Rockstar Games produced for us to advertise that game, it shows the UFO in action crashing into this location in the ocean, which I think is insane. And one more thing is if you still don't believe me, let's 
let's talk about the alien who was in this UFO when it crashed into GTA 5. That alien obviously tried to escape whether it got out of the UFO in the ocean or whether it bailed before it even crashed into the ocean when it noticed something was wrong. Either way, it floated down from the ocean into North Yankton and froze in North Yankton in GTA 5. And something we know for sure is that this alien is connected to this UFO because what else would it be connected to? It was obviously frozen in North Yankton so it was lost, it didn't know where it was, and this UFO is at the bottom of the ocean. And judging from this photo Rockstar Games released right at the start of the game, it looks like pretty good evidence that this UFO did actually crash into San Andreas, which is something we all knew. But Rockstar Games, of course, most likely teased this in this photo, which we took a look at just earlier on, which is insane. And I'm just so happy that Rockstar Games did include this in their photo when they were advertising the game. It's something they would have done. For example, you can see a Megalodon shark on the GTA 5 map. If you get the UV light above a GTA 5 map, you unlock all of these clues. It's something they love doing and they love their mysteries and Easter eggs. And part of me isn't too surprised that it took so long to try and find this out because it does, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it does look like a plane is going above Mount Chiliad. But if you guys think about this a little bit better and if you think about this with a little bit more care and stuff, then you might realize that there is no airport behind Mount Chiliad, which means if this was a plane, then where could it have taken off from? It is going in the exact direction, crashing down in the exact direction and angle in order to reach this one location where the UFO is at the bottom of the ocean. So to me, this entire situation is too coincidental to not be real. This has to be real and I would love to know your thoughts about this as well, guys. And something else I want to mention right at the end of this is Rockstar Games haven't let go of this mystery. They actually inserted a van in GTA 5, but there is a van in GTA 5, which on the livery design, you can actually see this UFO with the lights on and everything else like that, as if someone witnessed this UFO crash into the bottom of the ocean, but someone else has witnessed this in GTA 5. It's obviously a well-known thing within San Andreas, within the people in San Andreas. Maybe it's a myth or something or a legend, but this is something which has been witnessed with the people in GTA 5, hence why it's a livery design on one of their vehicles. So this entire mystery is awesome, and I'm just so glad we were able to work this out. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please don't leave it out smashing that thumbs up button. It would, of course, be greatly appreciated. Once again, guys, if you would like to see more stuff like this on a daily basis, I recommend you guys do subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any other questions, queries, or would like to see me do anything else on this channel, let me know in the comments section below, guys. And you never know, your idea might make it into another video. And if you guys would like to put any other input into this mystery or Easter egg in GTA 5, then make sure you guys do comment it in the comments section below. But judging from what I've just seen in that photo and judging from everything we've linked it up to, it just seems like like it's almost confirmed that this entire Easter egg was a thing and Rockstar Games were in fact showing that UFO crashing into the bottom of the ocean in that one photo. So I'd love to know your thoughts about this in the comments section below, but in my opinion, it all links up and everything is there. If you guys take a look at it in depth, it does actually make sense. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But guys, my name is Nort. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.